The owner of the UK's largest mine project, Sirius Minerals, has received notice of a potential takeover offer pitched at £386 million or 5.5 pence per share from FTSE 100 listed Anglo-American. Where's this going? Will it be a deal that is ultimately done? John Mayer joins us uh, from SP Angel. It's interesting actually looking at the wording of the announcement this morning that we got. It doesn't commit the company to going through with this and there's a lot of um, uh, uh, ifs and buts about it. But ultimately, do you see it as a, a good deal that could ultimately go through? Yeah, I, I see this as a great deal for Sirius, actually, and, and particularly for its shareholders, because it, it, it creates uh, the, the way forwards for, for Sirius and for the Woodsmith project. So, so Sirius has already spent a pile of money on this, and everybody's sitting there waiting to make, make it work. Um, so, so yeah, Anglo is the right sort of group to come in. They've got loads of expertise in this area because there are some technical challenges with this project. I mean, the biggest challenge right now is, is the financial challenge is where's the money coming from? And Sirius never had all the money together, so it needs that bit needs sorting out. But it really needs a, a strong backer who can who can take this all the way through to production, solve the technical issues as as they come up, because they're mining it through some stratas which are which are not properly consolidated and it means that it, there will there will be some difficulty in the shaft sinking and opening up the lower levels so so when they get through all that then you have the challenge of selling all the product because they're they're going to increase the the market size of the polyhalite product hugely and so it, the whole market needs needs to be fully needs to be better developed and a company like Anglo American can, can take the time to do this and can play hardball with the consumers and that all the stuff that's required and manage the logistics and get and get the technical specification right let's not forget that's always an issue as well so I see Anglo's as good they, they want it to diversify their portfolio it makes a lot of sense and Anglo's is, is in a tricky position it doesn't have the resource portfolio that BHP and, and Rio Tinto have, it got a bit left behind in the iron ore boom. It's got some iron ore, but it, it, it's a bit of an also ran there. So this is, this is an opportunity to catch up in the fertiliser space. Mm. You, you said it's a good deal potentially if it goes through. If we look at the share price chart, we'll see that in fact it's been at 30, 40, 50 pence, I think, was its, as its highs. This crystallises massive losses for so many retail investors, though, in the stock, and a lot of local people bought into this. So for them, it's not a particularly good deal. Well, it, it would be painful at this level. Uh, you can see why Anglo's don't necessarily don't want to offer a huge premium, and we we haven't seen any counter offers come in. Now, it may be that someone else says, "Oh, well, we can buy this on the cheap," but uh, you know, Anglo's got more reason to do this. They're, they're, they're very active in the UK with the paper and the and, and the and the aggregates businesses so so I can see Anglo's actually saying yes we want to do this and uh, yeah, my understanding is as well Anglo-American is quite close or likes to be close to the the government and of course we know that the chief treasurer of the Conservative Party is Sir Mick Davis the man that that uh, that did so well within the mining industry as a chief executive of Extrata uh, so it's interesting actually from a political point of view as much as anything else. To what degree do you think this could ultimately end up being a almost a political decision to see Anglo-Americans step into the breach? Well I can see the UK government being 100% supportive of this and we know the local community are right behind this and that that's great and we know that the UK government is generally supportive of mining uh, so long as it's not too disruptive and, and not, not uh, damaging the environment and this this is a good project and it certainly fits with the the whole idea of developing the northern powerhouse so so yes I see this getting a lot of political support and Mick Davis as treasurer of the of the Conservative Party is very well placed because he understands the mining industry brilliantly he was the man who masterminded the the growth of extrata and I, I wonder whether Mick Davis might actually be the man to step into Ivan Glazenberg's shoes and, and take over the running of Glencore now the two of the two have had a, the odd run in I think over the years but but Glazenberg won, won the battle when Glencore took over extrata but Mick Davis is the best man to maybe go in and run, run those assets again. So I do wonder whether there's, there's the chance for, for that to happen as well. OK. All right, John, thanks very much indeed uh, for joining us, uh, taking a look there at that potential deal that looks like it's being lined up uh, for Anglo-American to buy Sirius Minerals. That was John Mayer from SP Angel.